It's been like this all day. It'll probably continue until tonight. Oh, um, hello? Are you okay? I'm sorry, what was that? No. Oh, you lost your keys and couldn't get in. Sorry, I didn't understand you at first. Let me get a little closer. Are you hurt or something? Cold? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, sorry, nothing. Let me get the door to at least get you in the building. Wait. Will you be able to get into your apartment if you don't have them? Watch your tail. Wow, you're soaked. How long were you out there? That long? Um, I haven't seen you around. I moved in about a month or so ago, though, so I haven't met everyone yet. I guess we're neighbors. What? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm talking while you're standing there dripping cold. I'll walk with you to your... Oh, you can't get in. Right, the keys. They really need to cover up that gutter by the door out there. You don't live with anyone? Damn, your roommate's out. For how long? The whole weekend? You know, the superintendent won't be around until tomorrow. Hey. Hey, are you alright? You're shivering from your head to your tail and you're all... slow and sluggish. I can't leave you out here like this. It's a pretty safe neighborhood, but still, I'd feel bad. You can come into my place and dry off at least. I'll email the super too. They're pretty good about answering those. Whoa, I got you. Your scales are icy cold. Colder than a normally cold-blooded one like yourself would be. Come on, you can't say no now. I'm just on the second floor. Can you still go up the stairs? No, you're not that heavy on my shoulder. I mainly worry about your tail. If you fall asleep on me, I don't know if I could pull all that into my place on my own. It must be kind of a workout for you getting around on a daily basis, huh? Yeah. Actually, looking back, we're leaving a trail of rainwater. You're more like a slug than a naga today. <laughs> okay, okay. I could tell by the look in your eyes you'd punch my arm if you had the energy. We're almost there. I'll get my key and you can lean against the wall right there. Alright. Here we go. Let's get inside. Don't worry. I'm not going to close the door on your tail. I'll just get you a towel first and see if we can get the kettle on. Maybe a nice tea or a hot cocoa? Be right back. How's that? A little better? Good. You still feel icy cold. Do you mind if I... I'm just gonna rub your arms up and down a bit like this. For friction. Friction makes heat, right? Yeah. Your slow reactions make me think it's maybe not enough. Hmm. Oh, I know. It's not a life or death situation, I think, but they say body heat is good for this kind of thing. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. We just met. I meant it more like... Like maybe a hug? A totally platonic neighborly hug. Yes? Uh, okay. I'll take off my raincoat first. I think you're soaked enough. You can leave your jacket on the coat rack there, too. All right. Here goes. How's this? Huh? My sweater? 
Yeah, it's actually a few sizes bigger than my normal clothes. I like them big and comfortable. I have another shirt under it, too. It was so cold this morning, you know? Actually, I have a great idea. Yeah, a perfect idea. One sec. Ha! I knew I could fit the both of us. It's like hugging each other in a blanket, but it's my sweater. You'll be much warmer like this, right? I think I can already see the color returning to your face. This is such a weird way to meet someone. But I think I'm okay with it. In fact, it's a much more interesting way to meet someone. We can stay like this for a little while, then I'll get you that hot drink, okay? Hmm. Whoa. Hugging me with your whole tail. It's like a body hug. It's not bad. We should do this again sometime. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Actually, did I even tell you my name? It's AJ. Yours? Nice to meet you. Do you want to... maybe hang out this weekend? <laughs>